Hello everybody, Lutzer for Life here, bringing you guys a discussion video. So, first and foremost, let me just say I'm sorry I haven't been able to record and upload any videos for the past few days. I've been overworked with uh, work and school. So, <laughs> anyways, let's get right into the uh, topic. So, over the past few days, YGO Pro has gotten shut down. Now, uh, way back in my uh, RIP Doing Network video, I think I said something about them, uh, about how I had a bad feeling that they might go after YGO Pro and Dev Pro, and sure enough, it happened, okay? So, YGO Pro, you can no longer download it, okay? At least from the official site. Uh, Mega Capital G actually did what I was thinking about doing, and that was uh, uploading it to Dropbox and sharing it with everybody, but I got a little scared of doing that because <laughs> I was like oh god what they go after me but uh, Mega Capital G he doesn't give a crap and just does it so uh, props to him so Wideo Pro you can no longer download but however the servers are still running you can still go on and duel against other people and heck the night that it got taken down was the most like there was the most amount of players I have ever seen on Wideo Pro I have never seen that many people on on the server listings and stuff and it was so cool there was a lot of people on there uh, not to mention to keep updating it I know YGO hack is still working very hard on bringing the newer cards they haven't put the new Dark Lords on there yet and I cannot wait to do a discussion video on them because <laughs> holy crap I'm a big fan of the Dark Lords and I really want to play those but uh, sorry sidetracked there <laughs> so YGO Pro's not dead yet okay and I say yet because until NAS or Konami or whoever is behind this, okay, I know it's NAS, but NAS works for Konami, okay, so somebody at Konami has to be knowing what's going on with this, okay. Uh, so until they take down the actual servers of YGO Pro and they go after Dev Pro, which to my knowledge they have not gone after Dev Pro yet, okay, so... They and not to mention, there's also YGO Pro Salvation. There's uh, there's a whole bunch of other pros and like gaming Yu-Gi-Oh simulators. Like, trust me, guys, there's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, so, really, unless they take all of those down, online Yu-Gi-Oh is not dead yet. Okay. Uh, another thing, if they do manage to kill off all the simulators. We, it's not the end of Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? I actually got a message from a friend of mine, like a paragraph long on Skype, uh, about how he was worried about Yu-Gi-Oh's gonna die after all these are going on. No, it's not gonna happen, okay? Yu-Gi-Oh was going strong before DN came out, before YGO Pro came out, before Dev Pro came out. All these simulators do is allow people who are either not able to go to locals or who are not able to really test decks very often it allows them to be able to you know you really be able to do it more often and heck I am honestly legitimately scared if YGO Pro does get taken down because then <laughs> how am I going to get duels for you guys I mean none of my friends ever want to be on camera to duel <laughs> Heck, the only one who really doesn't mind is Hagel and Boomer. Uh, everybody else is like, no, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> I guess they're afraid they're going to um, slip up and embarrass themselves in front of, I don't know, a couple hundred people. I, my dull videos really don't get very many views. So, uh, really, that's like my main way of showing you guys how my decks work, how I, how I play, how I do everything and everything, and how I really kind of show off what decks that I'm playing and everything. And speaking of, I actually got some replays that I need to record sooner or later. Uh, so really, if YGO Pro goes under, and Dev Pro goes under, and all these other simulators go under, then my content, my amount of content is going to be hit. And I know there's a lot of other Yugi tubers who, or at least the smaller ones, who heavily rely on Doi Network and YGO Pro and Dev Pro and all these other simulators to be able to get out their videos and record and stuff. And really, honestly, this if Konami really, and NAS or whoever, is really going to be like that thorough about getting rid of these, Okay, what, first and foremost, it's very anti-consumer. Secondly, the there's, I don't know if you guys have heard, but there's a rumor floating around on the internet that Konami is currently having a company make two separate Yu-Gi-Oh games. One I haven't really heard much about, but the other is rumored to be an online dueling simulator similar to YGO Pro and, and uh, Dev Pro, but however, in a similar vein to doing uh, to the uh, to the uh, dual terminal. So if Konami or whoever company, whatever company they hired to do this, 
if the rumors are true and it's like a dual terminal, but however, it's a, like I've heard it's a cross between like dual terminal and dual generations. Okay, first and foremost, dual generations is a terrible app, and they took down the mobile uh, YGO Pro to put on uh, dual generations. So if 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 dual generations Claros DT comes out. And it's not good, okay? And by good, I mean Konami needs to do one of two things. They either need to do what Chaotic did, okay? And put, like, little codes in every single pack so that then you unlock online booster packs and stuff. I really liked that system that what Chaotic did. But if they don't do that, then they got to give us access to all the cards right away, okay? Because that's one of the big pros about doing network and YGO Pro and Dev Pro and everything is that... We just log on or hit start and then, oh, hey, look at that. I have access to all 7,000 plus cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I can build whatever deck I want. And heck, I can say, screw the ban list. I can build, uh, I don't know, Chaos Emperor Dragon Rowers or something. I, I don't even think that would work, but you get the point. I can go on there and build whatever deck I want and don't have to pay any microtransactions. I don't have to do anything to get the cards. And really, honestly, I think Konami needs to go either that route or Chaotix route, okay? And also, Chaotix route was kind of sort of taken by Pokemon and Kaijudo. Both of them have adopted that route, or at least Kaijudo did before it went under, like Chaotix did, sadly. Uh, <laughs> but Pokemon has that as well, and it works really well for them. To my knowledge, the Pokemon online game is pretty well populated. A lot of people like it. Uh, granted, though, Pokemon, the card game, is not really for me, so I don't really... I mean, I played it for like an hour, but that was about it. So, really, Konami has to do one of those two things. They either need to go the Chaotic route, or they need to go to YGO Pro, Dev Pro, doing Network route. And unless they make it good and keep the microtransactions to a minimum, and do not require any online uh, payment or anything, like an MMO would, and like, or maybe, heck, maybe charge 10 bucks, and then, hey, you got the entire game. I don't know, but Konami... Keep the microtransactions to a minimum. Keep it like, I don't know, avatar based or wallpaper based or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's just is really stupid what Konami's doing. It's very, very anti consumer. And unless they bring out a product that is better, it makes people want to go to their service, okay? Because they have tried several times. And I remember there was like that Yu Gi Oh! chibi thing. That was okay but the amount of microtransactions and the fact that they made you wait and the fact that they made you pay real freaking money for virtual packs that did not get you any packs in real life is really stupid now Konami if you do really want to charge people for virtual packs at least give us a coupon that we can give to our locals or a Walmart or something so we can go and hand it and be like hey I bought a pack online can I have a pack okay here you go goodbye that would be awesome okay it actually be consumer friendly because oh hey I whether I buy a pack in real life or I buy a pack in online I get both and that would be really cool but I don't know Konami is an idiot uh, the whole company is stupid they are in serious need of new management so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I know Cap G sent a letter to just about everybody he could uh, at Konami and I think, what's her name, Julia Hepburn or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work or not and I don't know how everything's going to roll. Uh, it's all a matter of a turn of a dice or something. Now. I forgot what the phrase is now. <laughs> uh, there was a phrase I heard that involved like a uh, gamble roll of a dice and I can't remember what the phrase is now it's bothering me god dang it that's gonna be in my head all day so guys thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video sorry I I'm sorry again I have not uploaded or recorded any videos for the past few days I've been very very busy with work and school and stuff so guys thank you all for watching have a great day peace out if it's your birthday happy birthday have a, uh, hope you enjoyed the video what's your thoughts on this whole ordeal with YGO Pro doing network and potentially even Dev Pro later on down the line hopefully they don't go after Dev Pro because I really like its custom its uh, customizability cu I, customizability I don't know what the word is thank you all for watching have a great day peace out <laughs>